Good evening, everybody. I'm Shannon Ogden. And I'm Ann Trujillo. The charges against the Fort Morgan City Manager stem from an incident that happened last year. And within the hour, Denver 7 Sally Mamdu got out of that first court appearance. So what can you tell us, Sally? Well, Shannon, we're outside the Logan County Detention Center right now. Any moment, Jeffrey Wells, who's the city manager, is expected to walk out of these doors. The judge gave him a PR bond, a $1,000 PR bond, which means he is free to go unless he violates the bond conditions, and then he has to pay that $1,000 bond. But right away today, Wells entered a no guilty plea after a judge read him his charges. Now, this wasn't a quick advisement. There was a lot of back and forth between the DA's office and Wells' lawyer over those allegations. Now, those allegations, the DA tells me that Last year in July, Wells had his daughter in the city car, in his city car, and while she was there, he intentionally slammed the brakes, causing her to get hurt. She had a minor concussion. Now, all this because she wouldn't put up, put her seatbelt on. The incident was reported to Fort Morgan Police, but the officers never filed a report. The DA also says that prior to investigating this incident, Wells was under investigation of sexually abusing two of his sons. Now, this was uh, made by his eldest daughter to the Department of Human Services. Now, those allegations were investigated and determined to be unfounded. Now, during today's court procedures, Wells' lawyer believes that the unfounded sexual assault allegations should have not been mentioned to court or to the media and that his client has not been treated fairly. It's why he requested a new prosecutor to be appointed for his client's case. Now, it has been difficult for us to try and understand the depth of the allegations because we have to obtain a copy of the 24-page arrest warrant, something that has not been made available to us, but it's something that the, the DA wants to make public because she believes the public has the right to know now the long history she says of the abuse that wells had against his children is the city manager in trouble uh i would not have submitted a, an arrest warrant to have him um taken into custody um, for an assault charge if he wasn't now the bond con the bond conditions here are limited and supervised contact with his kids for at least 30 days. His next court hearing will be moved back to Morgan County where he was prosecutor, ne, prosecuted. Now, during the court procedures, again, this was a, a different advisement. Most advisements take about roughly 10 minutes or so. This took an hour. Now, during the advisement, the actually the defendant's victim and the daughter here uh, talked to the judge and asked and requested that the arrest warrant that we are trying to get and the DA is trying to release, she asked that that uh, to be sealed. Now, for right now, we are told that the, the arrest warrant is going to be protected, which means it will be available only to the DA and Wells' lawyer. For now, we are live in Logan County, Sally Memdu, Denver 7.